Welcome to the MortgageGizmo.com monthly mortgage payment calculator tutorial video. Most mortgage calculators on the internet ask you for a mortgage amount and then provide you with a monthly payment. At MortgageGizmo.com we ask you for a monthly payment amount, subtract out common real estate expenses, and then provide a mortgage that matches your monthly payment amount. So to get to this calculator just go to MortgageGizmo.com. Now many of our questions are asking for monthly amounts. So it's very important that you enter monthly amounts. The first question is total monthly amount available for house payment. Now you can use mortgage company standards which is generally 28 to 36 percent of your income. You can also enter any desired budgeted amount here. For our example, we will use $1,800 a month. Now remember, these are monthly amounts. The next question is monthly property taxes. Now most, most of the time, the property taxes are quoted to you as an annual amount. So you need to take the annual bill and divide it by 12 to get monthly property taxes. Now, Property taxes vary widely. The low property taxes are found in Louisiana and Alabama where they are as low as $2.48 per thousand dollars of value. The high property taxes are located in New York and New Jersey where they are as high as $26.43 per thousand dollars of value. The average is around $12.00 per thousand dollars of value. Now we've calculated that that comes out to about hundred and ninety dollars per month. So there's our monthly figure. Our next question is monthly property insurance. Again this is usually quoted as an annual bill. So we have come up with about hundred and twenty dollars a month. That's a wild guess but it should work. The next question is monthly homeowners association payments. Again, we've guessed this to be about $100 per month. So we'll go ahead and enter that. Now, our next question is private mortgage insurance premiums. Now this one is not a monthly amount, it is a percentage. And basically what we've done is we've given some common percentages based on how much uh, down payment was provided or basically how much equity the homeowner has. The higher the mortgage in relation to the value of the home, the higher the private mortgage insurance premium. We're going to go ahead and use the example provided of 9.76%. If your mortgage has a lower loan to value, such as 90%, 85%, or 80%, you'll use the 10% or 15%. When you get to 80 or below, you will not have private mortgage insurance premium. All you need to do is call the lender and ask them to take it off. The next question is annual interest rate. And we provide a little box here that uh, gives a 30-year fixed average rate according to home plans. So for our example we're going to use a different rate 8.25 percent. The next question is down payment. So basically how much money will we be putting down on our home? For our example we're going to go ahead and put in $15,000 down. The next question is the loan term and that's in number of years. And you'll see here we put in a 30-year loan which is pretty common. Finally the last question is closing costs. Basically this is above and beyond the purchase price of the house and deals with whatever costs are necessary to close the sale of the home and basically close the mortgage. That's where a lot of the closing costs come from. It's usually between three and six percent of the purchase price. We put in five 
but for our example, we're going to use six. Now that we've entered all of our information, we can get our results. Now, what this calculator does is it subtracts out all of our expenses and comes up with a principal and interest payment. So let's take a look at these. We have our monthly housing budget minus property taxes minus insurance minus private mortgage insurance minus HOA dues and then that comes up with our principal and interest payment. So we'll see here our housing budget's 1800 monthly property taxes 190 monthly property insurance 120 private mortgage insurance 127 homeowners association dues 100 that leaves $1,251.47. Our last box here is an estimated total payment. 